Welcome back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Talk here at the SG Taurus Company. I'm your host, Matt LePan. Today, we have a great guest joining us. We're here to talk about Nexia Integrated Controls with your trained and American Standard equipment. To do that, we bring in DeVoe Ward, the Business Development Manager for Nexia. DeVoe, thank you very much for coming on the podcast today. Thank you so much, Matt, for allowing me this opportunity to spend some time with you and your team as it relates to our connected control and all the things that come with it. Well, we're very excited to have you on. Nexi Integrated Controls are something that a lot of people have heard the name, but don't necessarily know all the specifics on. That's why it's great to have on an expert like yourself. But before we get into the controls and everything, can we just get a quick introduction to who you are, how long you've been working with Nexia, and how you got to the position you're at right now? Absolutely. So my official title is Business Development Manager for Nexia, which encompasses the smart control as well as the other add-on devices for the smart home ecosystem. I've been in this capacity since July of 2016. Prior to that role, I actually called on customers in the capacity of territory manager. I have the luxury of selling the train brand and the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex for a time of seven years. So seven is the year of completion or the number of completion. So I served as a territory manager for seven years, calling and growing dealers, more specifically in the the smart home business. Prior to that, I managed the Home Depot program in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for the sales office. I'm coming up on my 11th year with IR this April. So I spent some time with dealers. I spent some time growing and developing and introducing this platform. So I'm comfortable and I am at home when I am talking about the smart home platform and all things that are associated with it. And smart homes are becoming so popular nowadays. All of the real high-end equipment that Train American Standard put out, it really it makes sense to add on these integrated controls and the smart home aspect of things. What would you say is the main benefit to using Nexia integrated controls to control your American Standard or Train equipment for heating and cooling? There are a few benefits. From the consumer side of the business, one, having a control that you can connect wirelessly, whether it's through your tablet, your phone, or any other device, which gives us that same feel like some of the other controls that are on the market. But from the dealer side, if that control is enrolled into our diagnostic program, dealer diagnostic program, the dealer can then get insight as to the performance of that heating and air conditioning system. And as you mentioned, the high-end systems your inverter-driven systems, your communicating systems, not only can they control it remotely, but the dealer can get up-to-date information, major and critical alerts as it relates to the performance of that high-end system that they've sold to the end user. So it helps on two ends of the street, one for the homeowner where they've got the best of the best and they know that their contractor or their dealer can actually get some alerts or have some monitoring capability remotely as it relates to the performance of that system. Just because I know I've, I've heard this come up before, the dealer can only see the diagnostics part of things for those out there listening who might be a homeowner. You know, we mostly talk to UHVAC folks out there listening, but just in case the question comes up, the only thing that can be viewed is diagnostic testing. But as Devo mentioned, you know, that's really such a huge benefit. You don't have to wait for the phone call from the homeowner saying, oh my goodness, I don't know what's wrong. My furnace isn't running or my, my heat pump shut off and I'm not getting I'm not getting any cold air and it's 100 degrees outside. You're getting warnings ahead of time, letting you know what the diagnostics are, letting you know if there are changes that need to be made. And Devo, how big of a benefit is that? And how do dealers get this information? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because the dealer gains access through the homeowner. And the question you asked was, what can the dealer see? In theory, the dealer only sees the reporting of the performance of the system. So runtime history, they can see indoor, outdoor temps, they can see indoor, outdoor relative humidity, they can see set point and whether or not that system is on or off. They have no access to maneuver or to manipulate anything related to the system through diagnostics at this point in time. And the benefit to it is, again, you mentioned Mr. Contractor can be proactive with homeowner. Instead of homeowner calling dealer saying, My thermostat or my connected control is displaying this weird code, this weird number. I don't know what that means. If the installing dealer sets that control up in dealer diagnostics, now mind you, the homeowner does have to opt in for that dealer to have access. So that's a checking security piece for the homeowner. So peace of mind for the homeowner. But once that homeowner opts in, that dealer can get that alert as long as they've set that parameter up in dealer diagnostics. Mr. Smith has a system. Mr. Smith's system generates an error code. 
if they've assigned somebody in that organization the responsibility of receiving that alert, they will get that alert in real time That is as it is being displayed on Mr. Smith's connected control. So now they can be proactive in terms of how they want to manage the service side of the business. Just such a big benefit. Like you mentioned, it they're getting it in real time. So out there as a, a dealer, as a contractor, if you have the ability to see when something is going wrong in real time and you have the ability to call, as the Devoe used as an example, Mr. Smith, and say, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I noticed that your AC is displaying an error code. I just want to let you know we have a technician who's going to be on the way when you're available and we'll get that fixed for you. That goes such a long way in terms of being able to connect with your end user, and it all starts and ends with these integrated controls. It also gives you, so we're we're looking at it from, you know, being a proactive service organization, but let's look at it from the dealer side. We all know of dealers that have run service calls or unnecessary service calls merely because the control is set up in the wrong settings or there could have been a power interruption and there was no power in the home. So a lot of times our technicians are running these ghost calls or these unnecessary calls when we could have walked a homeowner through something over the phone to rectify the issue, right? Thus making that business more streamlined. Instead of going out running unnecessary calls, they know the calls that they're running are going to be true service calls, not let me go and push a button and fix the problem. Because you and I both know if you show up to a homeowner's house because they've got a problem, you walk in, you push a button, and you stick your hand out and you say, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, that will be X amount of dollars. And that homeowner says, you've only been here five minutes. You didn't fix anything. You could have told me that over the phone. Why did you do that? And this is one thing that it gives you the ability to do. So true. It's just making your business more streamlined, more efficient. Part of the benefit of these products is using the Nexia Bridge system. Devo, can you give us a little insight into how you can run an entire home off of the Nexia Bridge and the Z-Wave technology that goes into the bridge system and how that's so powerful? Absolutely, so let's start with the bridge because we offer connected controls that have the gateway on board. So a few of our connected controls have the bridge embedded inside of the control. So the moment that control is installed and connected to Wi-Fi, that homeowner now has a smart home. So we don't necessarily have to have another box or another gateway plug somewhere else and everything's talking to that external box. Now, mind you, we do offer a control that is Z-Wave only. So in order to have a true smart ecosystem, we will need a box. So we offer internal boxes in some of our color screen touch controls, and then we offer an external box for our black and white Z-Wave control. So now as we talk about the bridge, the bridge is the hub. Just like any other smart hub that's out there, our gateway is what ties our customer to that control, to those smart devices that can then be added and enrolled onto that smart home ecosystem. We try to make it easier for our contractor because we're saying, hey, this control's got the bridge inside of it. So all you have to do, Mr. Dealer, is ask the right questions to the homeowner to see how we can meet the need. Now, I'm not going to say let's try to uncover some pain points, but in the selling process, we know that that is necessary in order to get buy-in. So the way that it works, we activate the gateway inside of the connected control. Once we do that, the homeowner establishes their Nexia account at www.mynexia.com, and then they merely start adding devices as they see fit. Maybe it's a smart plug to be able to control a light or a lamp or something of that nature. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a smoke detector. Maybe it's a water sensor, right? So the minute that the gateway is activated, we can then control that connected control plus any other devices that are enrolled. You mentioned the thermostats that are directly installed with the hub already in it, the Nexia Bridge system. Talk about the benefits of having those from the dealer point of view and then from the homeowner point of view as well. If you can have everything all in one spot and not to mention a really good-looking, really sleek interface. How does that benefit both the dealer and the homeowner? Well, one, let's talk about the dealer first. It benefits the dealer in a combination of ways, right? Because the dealer can offer something that is sexy, that is appealing. The homeowner is all about connectivity. Now, we give our dealers the ability to then add other accessories to that ecosystem. So that dealer could always have a selling opportunity time and time again. Every maintenance call, they can offer something to accommodate that connected control, right? So it gives our contractors the ability 
to protect the wall because there's a saying that whoever owns the wall owns the space. There's no secret that other companies or other industries are now venturing into the smart home space. The alarm companies, the cable companies, everybody wants a piece of the pie. So it's imperative that if our dealers go in and talk about the benefits of smart homes when they're replacing that heating and air conditioning system, and then to be able to share all the benefits that's related to the gateway inside of it, that dealer can own that wall instead of somebody else. Because the worst feeling in the world is our dealers selling our connected controls, but they treat it like a thermostat, meaning they don't talk about the benefits of the smart home. They don't talk about the benefits of controlling it remotely. They don't talk about the benefits of getting the diagnostic data and the info to be proactive in terms of service. They treat it like a thermostat. And then the AT&T guy or the AT&T, DT guy shows up, knocks on the door, pulls out their prezo, and they educate the homeowner on all things smart home. And we don't know, but that homeowner may have had a need or a pain point. And this is one thing that our contractors or our partners, our dealers have to understand. And I get it. When we're in front of customers as heating and air conditioning contractors, we're there because there's a need for heat or cooling. We're not there because of a smart home call, but it could eventually turn into a smart home selling opportunity. We've got to ask the right questions. See, when the AT&T guy or the ADT guy shows up, they will educate the homeowner on everything that they can do. Our dealers want to talk about heating and air conditioning only and then maybe focus on something on a subsequent or return visit where we could be capturing everything up front and then actually giving our homeowners a more competitive price because we're already there. We can bundle everything, and my price now is going to be different than my price if I have to roll a truck on another trip charge. So you get the drift from how it works for the contractor. For the homeowner, you've got one app that gives you access to everything related to smart home, from lights to locks to sensors to opening points, whether it's door, front and back door, garage door, being able to get all of the alerts, and then to do these integrations, which basically says, if this happens, I want this to happen. If this happens, I want this to happen. Right? We've got scene controllers where they're like little handheld remotes where dealers can truly automate their home. You push a button one time and it can cut all the lights on in the house. Or you basically write an automation that says, at dusk, I want this to happen. Or at sunrise, I want this to happen. So it gives our homeowners flexibility to have access to all of these devices in one app. And then our price, we are a subscription-based platform, but the cost associated with a Nexia account is $9.99 a month. And then we give our contractors the ability to try to capture that at the time of sale, too, by offering subscriptions, whether it's a three-year subscription plan or a lifetime subscription plan. We give our contractors access to that so where they can actually roll that into the cost of the system for the homeowner. I mentioned that we are a subscription-based platform. But we also offer a complimentary service where the homeowner can control a heating and air conditioning connected control plus one equal lighting device, whether it's a light bulb, light switch, light module, and we don't charge the homeowner a dime to do that. That is one thing that our contractors don't leverage, right? Because if you at least give them one device to use, say the dealer doesn't want to go full Monty with smart home, at least introduce it to the homeowner, give them a device that they can use, and then let the homeowner scale up or down. We also, and I mentioned the, the, the voucher, but we also give the contractors access to the vouchers so that they could, if they chose to, make a little markup on the subscription, right? Because it is a month-to-month -month subscription. Now, we don't make our customers sign a contract, but that is a way that we're willing to share in some of the revenue so that our contractors feel more comfortable offering smart home because there's no secret. Some of these devices, the majority of them devices, these devices you can find online or in retail spaces. Our job with our Nexia gateway is to integrate with these Z-Wave devices. And I know one thing we didn't spend time on is, is what Z-Wave actually is. And it's just a low frequency signal that goes from point A to point B. And most smart home platforms use Z-Wave because it uses a two-step encryption process for security to minimize some of the risks that are associated with, per se, use a Wi-Fi system, because your Wi-Fi system is only as secure as your Wi-Fi password. We have all heard of uh, Wi-Fi hack where their systems were manipulated and somebody took control over their cameras or their whatever system that they may be using that's communicating via Wi-Fi. So Z-Wave is a safer alternative, and then one of the limits or the limitations of Z-Wave is it's low frequency, so you don't have a long range of coverage. That's where the repeaters come into play, where our constantly powered light devices 
also act as Z-Wave signal repeaters. So the more of those constantly powered devices that are in a home, the stronger that Z-Wave mesh network is. So the better the experience that homeowner will have when there are more of those devices that are available to repeat that Z-Wave signal. Now let's dive a little more into that app. You mentioned how you can integrate this with the whole home. Obviously, a lot of these things are great. You can integrate this with Alexa, with Google Home, some of these smart speakers. When it comes back to the app itself, so you're out there, you're either looking at your new quote-unquote thermostat on the wall, but the nice display on the wall, or you're looking at your smartphone, your iPad. How does this app help folks save money in the long run and being able to integrate into their heating and air conditioning system to make the equipment last longer and run more efficiently? Oh, man, so we've got a couple of scenarios that I can run run by you, but one that resonates with me right now is the ability to enable geofencing. So for those that are not familiar with geofencing, geofencing basically says that your mobile device is your key. And if you write said parameters in your mobile device, that when your phone leaves your particular geofence, right, your perimeter that you've established for geo, your thermostat can go back to setback, right? So you're not heating a home and nobody's there. You can literally cut the lights so you're not utilizing the excessive power because of the lights being on and nobody's there. You can cut things off. Maybe it was a coffee pot or maybe it was a flat iron that you can just literally cut off because your phone left that geo zone. But more specifically, from a security standpoint, say you've, you've set up your geo parameter and you wrote the automation that when I leave, no matter if I turn back around or not, when I leave my geo zone, I want my garage door to shut. I want my front and my back door to lock automatically. So you've got peace of mind, not only from a, an energy savings standpoint, but being able to shut things down as part of using geofencing as well. But if a homeowner does not enable geofencing and they merely want to go in and adjust the temperatures on their connected control, they can do that. You can have an away function. You can have a home function. So say you leave the house and you get to work and you forgot, oh, man, I didn't put my house in away mode. You grab your app, you hit away mode, and away mode may say, I'm going to drop the temperature in the house five degrees or raise the temperature in the house five degrees, depending on what the season may be. You have the ability to do that with one push of a button in our app. Like we said, that saves you money. That saves you time. If you're on your way out the door in the morning and you leave at 7 a.m., you don't get home until 6 p.m., when you drive out of your driveway, your heating or air conditioning is going to kick down it's going to be in away mode and you can either set it to turn on at a certain time. So if you get home at six at five thirty, you can program it into your app or into the hub on your wall to kick on. Or when you pull in the driveway, if you do the geofencing as well, you can have a click on as you pull in the driveway. Either way, integrating these controls into your heating and air conditioning system allows for more control. So integrating with these next controls really it seems like a win-win for a dealer to be selling it and a homeowner to be using it. Absolutely. And you know what? One thing that we've got to do a better job, and I think as part of the organization, I'm going to fall someone victim to it. We'll, we'll say Nexia Control. When all, in all actuality, it's either a train branded control that has Nexia components or that's powered by Nexia or it's an American Standard branded control that's powered by Nexia. And we're working on that from our side of the street to massage that message a little deeper as it relates to the smart home ecosystem, right? Because we'll say Nexia Control and all and all shout is either a train or an American Standard brand of control that's got a Nexia gateway and Nexia diagnostic tied to it. Absolutely. Whether it be the AccuLink or the Comfort Link that have the hub directly in them or any of the other great options that Train or American Standard offer, all of these things are available to you here at the SG Taurus company. And if you need more information, you can reach out to your territory managers or you can go to www.nexiahome.com. You go under products and click on climate and we'll show you everything you need. A lot of these, you know, like I said, the, the AccuLink or the Comfort Link are these hubs directly on the wall and they can also be used as a thermostat. But as DeVoe said, there's so much more than that. So don't just treat them like that, especially if you're a dealer. Give the value proposition of, We can add just a regular old thermostat to the wall and you'll be able to control it. You know, some of them are wireless. You can control it from your phone or you can go the next level up, have this amazing looking AccuLink Platinum on your wall, the 1050. Beautiful big display, everything right there. It connects to your phone, but it also connects to the rest of your home. 
And that's a value added. That's something that someone who's not selling Trainer American Standard, they're not going to be able to offer the Trainer American Standard product that looks that good. And although there's also an opportunity for dealers to get support directly from you, that way they don't, you know, not everyone can be an expert at everything. So if they need help, there is help there for them. Can you tell folks about that? We have a dedicated customer service team, not only for consumers or for end users, but we also have a dedicated customer service team for our dealer base. So if the customer ever has an issue with their Nexia account or their Nexia system, it's not on the dealer to have to go back to that customer's home to spend time troubleshooting a connected control or my camera's not working or I can't get this sensor to sense. That's not the dealer's job. We have a dedicated customer service team that's responsible for facilitating that for the homeowner. But on the flip side, if a dealer is experiencing issues as they're installing, we also have a dealer direct line where we help the dealer as they're enrolling and installing these devices as well. So as part of that service fee, we get the customer service side of the business where a lot of the other manufacturers out there don't really have that. Great. Well, thank you again to DeVoe Ward, the business development manager at Nexia. He gave some great information there. And again, if you have any questions, reach out to your territory manager. We want to thank him again for coming on. We want to thank everyone out there for listening. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and Spotify. Search Taurus Talk and you'll be able to find all of our podcasts right there. Follow along on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. As always, use the hashtag Taurus Talk. And we'll find whatever your suggestions are. And finally, you can tune in on our website, sgtaurus.com backslash podcast, and catch all of our podcasts for Taurus Talk and Taurus Tech Talk right there. I want to thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next week on Taurus Talk.